Hi all, welcome to Anil Nair classes. Today in this session, we are going to discuss reminders based on factorials. Those who are regularly watching my classes, we discussed factorials session 1. Where the definition of a factorial, I defined what are the possible unit digits for a factorial we discussed. How to check whether the factorial sum is divided by a particular number we checked and we did some very very good problems based on factorial that is a summation n into n factorial is nothing but n plus 1 factorial minus 1 all basic problems we did it in factorials session 1 now today's session is a factorials session 2 factorials session 2 in this session 2 i am only going to discuss reminders based on factorials all the questions that i am going to discuss will have factorial as a part of the problem and that numerator is divided by denominator we have to find out the reminder when a numerator is divided by denominator all the questions all the questions whatever we are going to discuss will be of the form num numerator when divided by denominator reminder this numerator will have factorial as a part of it will have factorial as a part of it will have factorial as a part of it very very interesting class we will discuss one by one the traditional method as well as the optimal method numerator by denominator first we will discuss what will happen if the denominator is a prime number today then we will take the prime number multiples prime number multiples so it is part one we'll discuss for a prime number and we'll discuss for the multiples of a prime number straight away let us get into the class do not leave in between i will start from basics of, of all the questions related to this topic slowly i will take you to a very advanced level Session 2 is the reminders based on factorials. Before we discuss this one, first we will write down the question. All the reminders where it is based on factorials, there is a method that we are going to use that is Wilson's theorem. Wilson's theorem. Wilson's theorem is used to find the reminder based problems when the factorials, when the factorials are divided by a prime number wilson's theorem is used when the denominator is a prime number wilson's theorem is used when the denominator is a prime number and the numerator is nothing but a factorial format if the numerator is in a factorial format and the denominator is a prime number you can use wilson's theorem what is a wilson's theorem wilson's has proposed a beautiful theorem to solve some of the toughest reminder problems using this notation p minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by p it is always 0 when p is a prime number when p is a prime number reminder when p minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by p it is always 0 when p is a prime number wilson's theorem is used when the denominator is a prime number for example, if I take p value 5, this will become 5 minus 1 is 4 factorial plus 1 when divided by 5. 24 plus 1 is 25. 25 when divided by 5, reminder is 0. Reminder is 0. p minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by p, reminder is 0 as long as p is a prime number p minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by p reminder is 0 when p is a prime number all the questions whatever i am discussing today are either taken from the primitive concept or taken from the derived concept of wilson's theorem all the questions are based on reminders based on factorials let us straight away get into the class kindly sit in the class with a notebook and a pen or a pencil watch the entire lecture so that any doubt that you got will get erased as the class proceeds in case if you got any mail send us a mail doubt all your doubts at support at the rate anilnayarclasses.com 
At the end of the class, you will be able to solve some of the toughest problems under this topic without the usage of pen and pencil. Right? Those of you who are relatively new to the class, I might have taken more than 1000 students, minimum 500 students. In a class, more than 500, 700, 1000, 2000, 3000, that will be the class. I stopped taking the students count as 500 some years before now my classroom strength will be anything greater than or equal in 2000 right we'll straight away get into the topic first one first we'll write down the concept what is the concept reminder when p minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by p is 0 when p is a prime number this is the first concept this is the first concept Second concept, if I take a negative reminder, if I take a negative reminder, 13 when divided by 4, 4 3s are 12. What is the positive reminder? Positive reminder is 1. What is the negative reminder? 4 4s are 16. It is minus 3. Are you all with me? If you get a negative reminder, add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder. If you got the negative reminder, if you got the negative reminder, add with the denominator, add with the denominator to get the positive reminder. This concept is extremely important. If the answer came out to be a negative reminder, add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder. If you got the negative reminder, add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder. Reminder, these two concepts I am going to use. Extremely important concept. Positive reminder means answer will be like this. If you got a negative reminder, add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder. First question. Reminder 1, 30 factorial divided by 31. This can be written as 31 factorial is nothing, 30 factorial is 31 minus 1 factorial. I am adding 1 and subtracting 1 when divided by 31. 31 minus 1 factorial plus 1 minus 1. P minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by P. What is the negative reminder? It is minus 1 because this came out to be 0. Negative reminder minus 1. Positive reminder is 30. I hope it is clear. Reminder when P minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by P is 0 when P is a prime number. So 30 factorial is 31 minus 1 factorial plus 1 minus 1. P minus 1 factorial plus 1 divided by P is 0. Negative reminder minus 1. Positive reminder will be 30. Whenever you get the negative reminder, add it with the denominator to get the positive reminder. To get the positive reminder, you don't need to do all this. Suppose if I put plus 1, these p minus 1 phi factorial, plus 1 if it comes to this side, what it will become? Minus 1. That only we will write it directly. Directly we will write the important key point so that you don't need to waste time. What is the conclusion? Reminder 1, p minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by p it is 0. So plus 1 if it comes to the right hand side, p minus 1 factorial when divided by p it is minus 1. Negative reminder means add it with the denominator, p minus 1. So that means if p minus 1 factorial is divided by p, Reminder will be P minus 1. Reminder will be P minus 1. P minus 1 factorial when divided by P. Negative answer will be P minus 1. So you don't need to write it directly. You can write 30 factorial by 31 is 31 minus 1 is 30. Similarly, reminder 1. 72 factorial divided by 73 is 73 minus 1, 72. P minus 1 factorial when divided by P is P minus 1. P minus 1 factorial when divided by P is P minus 1. Very, very important conclusion derived from the Wilson's theorem. Now you might ask a doubt, Anil sir, what will happen if it is P minus 2, P minus 3? Slowly we will discuss the derivative of all these problems. I hope the concept is clear. 
now directly you can say reminder when p minus 1 factorial divided by p which is nothing but p minus 1 these when the pre is a prime number these when the p is a prime number so if i start using this concept 16 factorial by 17 is 17 minus 1 16 i hope the idea is clear idea is clear numerator it is p minus 1 factorial denominator it is p this is the concept p minus 1 factorial when divided by p now another beautiful question find the remainder when 15 factorial divided by 17 15 factorial divided by 17 now first important observation 15 factorial is 15 into 14 into 13 and so on up to 2 into 1 17 there is no factor common that that is present in 15 factor factorial and 17 15 factorial and 17 are co-prime numbers are you all with me are co-prime numbers are co-prime numbers co-prime numbers now if you see reminder 9 divided by 2 2 fours are 8 reminder 1 reminder 18 is divided by 4 4 fours are 16 what is the reminder 2 here 9 and 2 are co-prime to each other. I got a reminder 1. 18 and 4 are not co-prime to each other. The reminder is getting affected. Reminder is getting affected when the numerator and denominator, when the numerator and denominator are bec not becoming co-primes. That means if you solve this question like this, reminder 1, 16 into 15 factorial by 16 into 17, because n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial, you might get an idea that can I write like this. But if you take these two, 16 is common to each other. That means numbers are not co-prime to each other. This logic is not applicable when the numerator and denominator are not co-prime. Reminder will get affected. So, here it is a wrong method. Don't multiply and divide by 16. If you multiply and divide by 16, numerator and denominator will not be co-prime to each other. I want it to be co-prime to each other. So, this method of multiplying and dividing by 16 should not work. Now, see here. How to do it? Reminder 1. We have already discussed 16 factorial divided by 17 is 16. Already we know. What is the concept? Reminder 1. P minus 1 factorial divided by P. It is nothing but P minus 1. So, 16 factorial is nothing but 16 into 15 factorial when divided by 17 is 16. Till here it is clear. Now, if you observe, reminder 1. 9 into 7 divided by 2. 9 when divided by 2, reminder 1. 7 when divided by 2, reminder 1. When I further divide, is the reminder changing? Reminder is not changing. It will not change as long as the numerator is less than the denominator. 16 when divided by 17. 17 zeros are 0, 16. 15 factorial by 17. When you, we don't know the reminder. When I further divide, Reminder will not change. Just by looking at a question itself, I can say that x equivalent to 1. Because 16 ones are 16. 16 divided by 17 is 16. By looking at a question itself, I am able to deduce. 16 factorial divided by 17 is 16. What is the method that I am using in this one? I am using backtracking method. I am using backtracking method. From the known, I am determining the unknown. 16 factorial by 17 is 16. 16 factorial is 16 into 15 factorial. 16 by 17 is 16. 15 factorial by 17, I don't know. So, I call it as x. When I further divide, reminder will not change. It is explained in this example. 9 when divided by 2, 1. 7 when divided by 2, 1. When I further divide, reminder will not change. Idea clear? idea i hope it is clear right you don't need to do all this there is a beautiful shortcut which i'll explain after i solve the next problem 
right now find the remainder when 27 factorial divided by 29 27 factorial divided by 29 we know that remainder when 28 factorial divided by 29 is 28 because remainder when p minus 1 factorial when divided by p it is nothing but p minus 1 when p is a prime number when p is a prime number so 28 factorial is nothing but 28 into 27 factorial when divided by 29 it is nothing but 28 these is nothing but 28 27 factorial divided by 29 i don't know when i further divide remainder will not change just by looking at a question itself i can say that x equivalent to 1 I can say that x equivalent to 1. Are you all with me? In the previous case also we got 1. In this case also we got 1. Does it mean that p minus 2 factorial divided by p, will it will always result in 1? Definitely it will result in 1. Now see, why it will result in 1? Right, because of these two examples it is conclu concluded. So conclusion, conclusion, reminder 1 p minus 2 factorial divided by p it is always 1 when p is a prime number important conclusion reminder when p minus 2 factorial when divided by p reminder is always 1 when p is a prime number that means reminder the difference in the numerator and denominator the term value should be 2 27 factorial divided by 29 it is 1 reminder 1 41 factorial divided by 43 these also 1 reminder 1 27 factorial divided by 29 or 79 77 factorial divided by 79 it is also 1 idea clear p minus 2 factorial when divided by p it is always 1 when p is a prime number first conclusion p minus 1 factorial divided by p is p minus 1 p minus 2 factorial divided by p it is always 1 when p is a prime number next is 41 factorial minus 1 prime or composite what is the concept we discussed just now p minus 2 factorial divided by p it is always 1 when p is a prime number when p is a prime number so if i use this concept reminder of 41 factorial divided by 43 it is always 1 so if the question is 41 factorial minus 1 when divided by 43 here it is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 that means 41 factorial minus 1 is divisible by 43 are you all with me seems like a very difficult question but actually it's an easy question 41 factorial minus 1 is divisible by 43 hence 41 factorial minus 1 is a composite number hence this number is a composite number I hope the idea is clear. What is the concept that I used in this question? P minus 2 factorial when divided by P, it is 1. Based upon that one, 41 factorial by 43, it is 1. 41 factorial minus 1. 41 factorial by 43 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 41 factorial minus 1 is a composite number. Idea clear? All are conceptual understanding questions if you know the concept you can crack it very fast if you do not know the concept you will say that this question is very difficult is 18 factorial plus 1 prime or composite always look out for that number p minus 1 factorial divided by p is p minus 1 when p is a prime number when p is a prime number so this will become 18 factorial by 19 which is nothing but 19 minus 1 18 but i require 18 factorial plus 1 
divided by 19. This value is 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 divided by 19, remainder 0. That means 18 factorial plus 1 is divisible by 19. 18 factorial plus 1 is divisible by 19. Therefore, 18 factorial plus 1, it is a composite number. 18 factorial plus 1, it is a composite number. Idea clear, right? Very easy questions if you know it. If you don't know it, you will say that how to check whether a number is a prime number or not. Next one, find the remainder when 40 factorial is divided by 43. Very, very good question. For using p minus 2 factorial, I used p minus 1 factorial. Similarly, remainder 1, p minus 2 factorial divided by p, we got 1. I will use this concept when p is the prime number. If p is the prime number, if I use this concept, 43 minus 2 is 41 factorial. 41 factorial divided by 43 is 1. Till here it is clear. 41 factorial is nothing but 41 into 40 factorial divided by 43 it is 1. I hope this is clear. 41 divided by 43 is 41. 40 factorial divided by 43 is x. When I further divide by 43, remainder will not change. Remainder will not change. Till here clear. 41x is divided by 43. We don't know the quotient, but we know that the remainder is 1. Are you all with me? So, 9 when divided by 2, 2 fours are 8, remainder 1. So, 9 is 2 into 4 plus 1. Similarly, here it will be, here it will be, listen carefully sir, very very good questions, 41 x equivalent to 43 k plus 1, so 41 x is nothing but 41 k plus 2 k plus 1, this is divisible by 41, this is divisible by 41. 2k plus 1 should be divisible by 41. So, k value is nothing but 20. If k value is nothing but 20, if I substitute it, 41 x equivalent to 43, 1, 2, 6, 1. So, x equivalent to 41, 3 is our 120. I hope it is clear, right? k is 20. So, 1, 2, 6, 0. 41 x equivalent to 43 k plus 1. 41 x is 43 k plus 1. 41 x equivalent to 41 k plus 2 k plus 1. This should be divisible by 41. I hope it is clear. 41 factorial. 41 factorial divided by 43 is 1. 41 factorial is 41 into 40 factorial by 43. These is nothing but 41. So, 40 factorial by 43 is x. 41 x by 43 is 1. 41 x is 43 k plus 1. 41 x plus 2 k plus 1. Divisible by 41, divisible by 41. 2 k plus 1 is 41, k 20. If I substitute k 20, k 20, 43 into 20 is 860 plus 1, 861. So, this is nothing but x is 21. x is 21. I hope the idea is clear. There is also a shortcut for that which we will discuss. What are the concepts that we used? Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus reminder. This is divisible by 41, divisible by 41. This should be divisible by 41. That means k value is 20. 43 into 20 plus 1, 861. So, x value is 21. Idea clear? I will do one more question. Then I will tell you the shortcut. See here. This question. Find the remainder when 16 factorial is divided by 19. Remainder when p minus 2 factorial when divided by p, it is 1. This when p is a prime number. This one. P is a prime number. 
these 17 factorial divided by 19 it is 1. 17 factorial is 17 into 16 factorial when divided by 19 it is 1. 17 divided by 19 remainder is 17. 16 factorial by 19 is x. When I further divide remainder will not change. 17x is a dividend. It is getting divided by 19. Quotient we don't know. Remainder is 1. So dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. 17x is 17k plus 2k plus 1. Divided divisible by 17, divisible by 17. 2k plus 1 should be divisible by 17. K value is 8. If I substitute here, 17x is 152 plus 1, 153. X value is 9. X value is 9. I hope the idea is clear. Reminder 1, P minus 2 factorial divided by P, it is 1. When the P is a prime number. Again, what I used in this question? I used backtracking method in this question. I used a backtracking method in this question, right? P minus 2 factorial by P is 1. 17 factorial by 19 is 1. From there, I went. This is a very long method. Directly, you can tell the answer if you know the approach. I hope this approach is clear. Now, there is a better approach. Concept is, reminder 1, P minus 3 factorial when divided by P. The value came out to be P minus 1 by 2 when P is a prime number. When P is a prime number. So, this is nothing but 19 minus 3, 16 factorial divided by 19. 19 minus 1, 18. 18 by 2 is 9. Directly, you can say the answer. Suppose if the question is reminder 1, 20 factorial divided by 23. 23 minus 1, 22. 22 by 2 is 11. It's all direct calculation. 70 factorial by 73. 73 minus 1, 72 by 2, 36. If the question is, reminder 1, 14 factorial divided by 17. 17 minus 1, 16. 16 by 2, 8. Extremely important concept. Reminder 1, P minus 3 factorial when divided by P, the answer comes out to be P minus 1 by 2 when P is a prime number. P minus 1 factorial by P is P minus 1. P minus 2 factorial by P is 1. P minus 3 factorial when divided by P is P minus 1 by 2. I hope the concept is clear. Now see here. Now the difference is 4. Find the remainder 1. 97 factorial is divided by 101. Just now we discussed these where these optimal techniques are useful. P minus 3 factorial. P minus 3 factorial when divided by P is P minus 1 by 2. When P is a prime number. So these is nothing but 101 minus 3. 98 factorial divided by 101 is 101 minus 100, 100 by 2 is 50. 98 factorial is nothing but 98 into 97 factorial divided by 101 is 50. 98 divided by 101 is 98. 97 factorial divided by 101 is x. When divided by 101, remainder is nothing but 50. 98x when divided by 101, remainder is 50. Remainder is 50. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, 98x equivalent to 101k plus 50. 98x equivalent to 98k plus 3k plus 50. 90x 80 is divisible by 98. These also divisible by 98. 
थ्री के प्लस फिफ्टी इज डिविजिबल बाई शुड बी डिविजिबल बाई नाइंटी एट सो के वैल्यू विल बी सिक्सटीन के वैल्यू विल बी सिक्सटीन सो हियर इट विल बिकम इफ आई सब्सटीट्यूट नाइंटी एट एक्स इक्वल एंड टू हंड्रेड एंड वन इन टू सिक्सटीन प्लस फिफ्टी सो एक्स इज नथिंग बट सिक्सटीन 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 सिक्सटी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई नाइंटी एट नाइंटी एट वन जार नाइंटी एट नाइंटी एट वन जार नाइंटी एट सो टू सिक्स एटी सिक्स सिक्स एटी सिक्स वॉट एवर द आंसर दट यू विल गेट दट इट सेल्फ इज द आंसर ऐ होप इट इज क्लियर रईट ऐडिया क्लियर पी मैनस वन फैक्टोरियल बै पी वी डिड इट पी मैनस टू फैक्टोरियल बै पी वी डिड इट पी मैनस थ्री फैक्टोरियल बै पी ईज P minus one by two. I hope the idea is till here clear, right? So what we got? Ninety-eight divisible by ninety-eight. Three k plus fifty ninety-eight. K is sixteen. So sixteen sixteen plus fifty. Sixteen sixty-six divided by ninety-eight. Whatever the answer that you will get, that itself is the answer. So seven fourteen zar seven two zar fourteen twenty-six seven three zar twenty-one eight. Right? So fourteen. 17 sir answer is 17 right you can deduce your own p minus 4 factorial by p how much just by few observational analysis i hope the idea is clear next one find the remainder when 17 factorial is divided by 23 we are still going very deep find the remainder when 17 factorial is divided by 23 we know the logic that remainder when P minus three factorial when divided by P, it is nothing but P minus one by two when P is a prime number. When P is a prime number, so this will become twenty factorial by twenty three. It is nothing but twenty two by two, which is eleven. Twenty factorial is nothing but twenty into nineteen into eighteen into. Seventeen factorial when divided by twenty-three, it is eleven. Twenty, twenty-three ones are twenty-three minus three. Twenty-three ones are twenty-three minus four. Twenty-three ones are twenty-three minus five into x when divided by twenty-three is eleven. These remainder of sixty x. Twenty-three threes are sixty-nine minus nine minus into minus nine nine x divided by twenty-three. It is eleven. I hope till here it is clear. P minus three factorial when divided by p is p minus one by two. Twenty factorial by twenty-three is twenty-two by two, which is eleven. Twenty factorial is twenty into nineteen into eighteen into seventeen factorial by twenty-three. Twenty-three ones are twenty-three minus three minus four minus five into x divided by twenty-three is eleven. Sixty is twenty-three threes are sixty-nine minus nine. Now from here you can solve this one. Nine x is nothing but twenty-three k plus eleven. So nine x is nothing but eighteen k plus nine plus five k plus two. Divisible by nine, divisible by nine, divisible by nine. Five k plus two should be divisible by nine. It cannot be nine because k value will be fraction. It cannot be eighteen. It has to be twenty-seven. So k value is five. Five k plus two twenty-seven. K value five. Substitute there. If I substitute there, nine x is twenty-three. Five are one fifteen plus eleven one twenty-six. So x value is nothing but fourteen. X value is nothing but fourteen. Very very good quality questions from the topic remainders based on factorials we are discussing. Seventeen factorial divided by twenty three. Twenty factorial divided by twenty three is eleven. Twenty factorial is twenty into nineteen into eighteen into seventeen factorial by twenty three. Twenty by twenty-three is minus three minus four minus five into x divided by twenty-three is eleven. Sixty divided by twenty-three is twenty-three. Threes are sixteen-nine minus minus half minus is plus nine x divided by twenty-three is eleven. Nine x is 
ஏன்னையில் Next one, find the reminder when 23 factorial is divided by 17. 23 factorial is nothing but 23, 22, 21 and so on up to 17 and so on up to 1 when divided by 17. Any number multiplied by 17 when divided by 17, answer is 0. Or in other words, you can easily say that reminder when x factorial divided by n is 0 if n is a factor of x factorial if n is a factor of x factorial reminder when x factorial divided by n is 0 reminder when x x factorial when divided by n is 0 when n is a factor of x factorial i hope this idea is clear idea is clear right x factorial divided by n is 0 when n is a factor of x factorial another question now we will discuss the next level of questions find the reminder when 18 factorial is divided by 437 first we have to factorize 437 437 is 19 2s are 38 50s 7, 19, 3s are 8, 4, 37 is 19 by 23. So, what are the concepts that we are going to use here? Reminder when 18 factorial by 19 we have to do and reminder when 18 factorial divided by 23 we have to do and then we have to find the equations. So, 18 factorial divided by 19 is nothing but 18. P minus 1 factorial when divided by P. 18 factorial divided by 23. 20 factorial divided by 23 is nothing but 11. Why? Because it is of the form P minus 1 by 2. 20 factorial is 20 into 19 into 18 factorial divided by 23 it is 11. 20 divided by 23 is minus 3. It is minus 4. 18 factorial divided by 23 is x. When I further divide by 23, reminder is 11. Minus into minus plus. Reminder 1. 12x divided by 23. It is nothing but 11. So here it is. Dividend equivalent to divisor into quotient plus a reminder so here it is 12x is nothing but 24k plus 12 plus or minus of 1 plus k till here it is clear 12x equivalent to 24k plus 12 minus of 1 plus k till here it is clear right 12x is nothing when divided by 23 reminder is 11 this i wrote it as this I wrote it as 12x equivalent to 24k plus 12 minus of 1 plus k. Right? This is divisible by 12. This is divisible by 12. This is divisible by 12. 1 plus k should be divisible by 12. That means k value should be 11. k value should be 11. So 12x is nothing but 23 into 11 plus 11, which is nothing but 24 into 11. So, x value is nothing but 22. Are you all with me? x value is nothing but 22. That means, two equations we got. 18 factorial divided by 19 is 18 we got. 18 factorial when divided by 23, we got it as 22. Now, we will try to solve these two equations. 18 factorial divided by 19 is 18 we got. 18 factorial divided by 23 we got it as how much we got? 22. 
So both the equations are 18 factorial when divided by 19, remainder 18. 18 factorial when divided by 23, remainder is 22. So if I equate both the equations, 19a plus 18 equivalent to 23b plus 22. So 19a equivalent to 23b plus 4. This is nothing but 19a equivalent to 19b plus 4 into b plus 1. Divisible by 19, divisible by 19. 4 into b plus 1. 4 is not divisible by 19. b value is 18. b value is 18. If b value is 18, answer is nothing but 23 into 18 plus 22. When divided by 19, I will get the answer. Are you all with me, sir? So, 23 into 18 plus 22. How to find out the value of B? Is it clear, right? 18 factorial by 19 is 18. 18 factorial by 23 is 22. Both will represent same number. 19A plus 18. 23B plus 22. 23B plus 4. 19A is 19B plus 4 into B plus 1. Divisible by 19. Divisible by 19. B is 18. If B is 18, 23 into 18 plus 22 divided by not 19 divided by 437. Whatever the value that you get it, that itself is the answer. This question is a combination of the product of two prime numbers 19 and 23. This is a combination of two prime numbers 19 and 23. I hope the logic is clear. Another one. Find the remainder when 216 factorial. Now if you see remainder when P minus 1 factorial when divided by P. This is nothing but P minus 1 when P is a prime number. Same concept we will use it here. 2016 factorial power 2015 factorial divided by 2017. 2017 is a prime number. I will tell you in prime number session 1 how to check whether a number is a prime or composite. This is nothing but P minus 1. So these 2000 P minus 1 factorial divided by P it is nothing but P minus 1. So this is nothing but reminder of 2016 power 2015 factorial divided by 2017 2017 ones are 1 minus 1 this is an even number minus 1 power even number is plus 1 minus 1 power even number is plus 1 minus 1 power even number is plus 1 idea clear reminder when p minus 1 factorial divided by p it is p minus 1 2016 factorial by 2017 is 2016. 2016 by 2017 is minus 1. 2015 factorial is an even number. Minus 1 power even number is plus 1. Another variety of question. Another question. These are all very very good questions sir. Question is find the remainder when 8 factorial whole square divided by 17. 8 factorial whole square divided by 17. I will solve the first one. Second one you can try it out. 15 factorial divided by 17 is 1. 15 factorial is nothing but 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 8 into 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 divided by 17. These also 1. 1 into 2 into 3 till 8 is nothing but 8 factorial. Are you all with me? 9 divided by 17 is minus 8. 10 divided by 17. 17 ones are 17. Minus 7. 12 divided. 11 divided by 17 is minus 6. 15 divided by 17 is minus 2. When I further divide, remainder will not change. From 2 to 8, 
there are seven negatives seven negatives if i multiply it will be negative so minus remainder of 8 factorial whole square divided by 17 is 1 so minus if i do it one will become minus 1 minus 1 means it becomes 16 answer for this question is 16 answer for this question is 16 i hope the idea is clear 8 factorial whole square divided by 17 15 factorial divided by 17 p minus 2 factorial when divided by p is 1 15 factorial is 1 to 15 1 into 2 into 3 till 8 is 8 factorial minus 8 minus 7 minus 6 minus 2 2 to 8 there are 7 negatives 7 negatives if i multiply i will get negative negative sign 8 factorial into 8 factorial 8 factorial minus is outside if i multiply by minus minus 1 i will get positive remainder is 16 positive remainder is 16 idea clear one more question which we will solve remainder 1 30 <coughs> 35 factorial whole square when divided by 71 35 factorial whole divide whole square divided by 71 so these are nothing but 169 factorial divided by 71 is 1 p minus 2 factorial when divided by p is 1 69 is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 till 35 remaining will be 36 37 till 69 when divided by 71 it is 1 1 into 2 into 3 till 35 is 35 factorial 36 divided by 71 is minus 35 37 divided by 71 is minus 34 69 divided by 71 is minus 2 divided by 71 it is 1 2 to 35 there are 34 negatives if you multiply 34 negatives i will get a positive so answer is nothing but remainder 1 35 factorial whole square divided by 71 is 1 35 whole square divided by 71 is 1 the difference between this question and previous question is there i got odd number of negatives odd number of negatives if i multiply i will get a negative even number of negatives if i multiply i will get positive very very quality questions all the questions are based on reminders based on factorials 69 factorial divided by 71 is 1 1 into 2 till 35 i did till 35 because the question is till 35 36 to 69 35 factorial 36 by 71 is minus 35 minus 34 69 by 71 is minus 2 from 2 to 35 there are 34 negatives 34 negatives if i multiply i will get a positive idea clear right another question 270 factorial whole square divided by 541 541 now see here remainder 1 270 factorial whole square divided by 541 so this will become if i do 2 539 factorial divided by 541 it is nothing but 1. 539 factorial divided by 541 is 1. 539 can be written as 1 into till 270. 271, 272 and so on up to 539 divided by 541 it is 1. So here it is nothing but 1 into 2 till 270 is 270 factorial. 270 factorial 271 by 541 minus 270 i hope it is clear it is minus 269 and so on up to 539 divided by 541 is minus 2 divided by 541 
from 2 to 270 there are 269 negatives are there if you multiply odd number of negatives i will get a negative so outside minus will be there minus of 270 factorial whole square by 541 which is nothing but 1 multiply with negative on both the sides answer for this question is 540 answer for this question is 540 I hope the idea is clear. First we are doing P minus 2 factorial divided by P is 1. From there we are trying to find out the squares. Answer is 540. This question, this question and previous two questions are of the same model. I hope the idea is clear. Next one. Find the remainder 1. 1 into 1 factorial, 2 into 2 factorial and so on up to 45 into 5 factorial. In session 1 we discussed n into n factorial, n equivalent to 1 to n. It is nothing but n plus 1 factorial minus 1. I gave the proof in the first class. So this is nothing but 45 into 45 factorial it is n equivalent to 1 to 45. This is nothing but 46 factorial minus 1. So here it is nothing but when you divide 46 factorial minus 1 divided by 47. These p minus 1 factorial. p minus 1 factorial when divided by p it is nothing but p minus 1. So, 46 minus 1. Answer for this question is 45. Answer for this question is 45. I hope the idea is clear. n into n factorial. It is nothing but n plus 1 factorial minus 1. 45 into 45 factorial is 46 factorial minus 1. 46 factorial minus 1 when divided by 47. p minus 1 factorial divided by p is p minus 1. So, 47 minus 1 is 46. 46 minus 1 is 45. Idea clear, right? Same, another model. n into n factorial from n equivalent to 1 to n is nothing but n plus 1 factorial minus 1. So, d is nothing but 14 into 14 factorial. n equivalent to 1 to 14 is nothing but 15 factorial minus 1. Now the difference is 2. Reminder 1. 15 factorial minus 1 when divided by 17. This is 1. Why? Because reminder 1. P minus 2 factorial when divided by P it is 1. 1 minus 1 0. 1 minus 1 0. I hope the idea is clear. Previous question it is P minus 1 factorial by P. Now the question is P minus 2 factorial by P. Variety of questions we are solving under that subtopic. Reminders based on factorials. Reminders based on factorials. I hope it is clear. One more question. There is a number 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 and so on up to 1 by 23. It is a by 23 factorial. So a will become 23 factorial plus 23 factorial by 2 plus 23 factorial by 3 plus 23 factorial by 4 and so on up to 23 factorial by 23. This entire number, reminder when a is divided by 13. So, this is nothing but reminder when 23 factorial divided by 13. 23 factorial is divisible by 2. This is divisible by 3, divisible by 4, divisible by 23. So, what is left in the final question? 23 factorial should be divisible by 13. If it is divisible by 13, what will be the remainder? The entire question is this one. 23 factorial divided by 13. Now, how to solve? Now, how to solve this question? Now, how to solve? Now, see here. This entire question can be translated into. This entire question is translated into 
23 factorial divided by 13. Now, we will solve it. 23 factorial divided by 13. 23 factorial, what does it, is 13 a factor of 23? Yes. So, 23 factorial, 13 is a factor of 23 factorial. So, the remainder is 0. Remainder is 0. I hope it is clear, right? So, you can do one by one all the questions, sir. Remainder 1. 23 factorial is divided by 13. 23 factorial contains 13, 0. 23 factorial divided by 2 into 13. 23 factorial contains 2. 23 factorial contains 13, 0. 23 factorial divided by 3 into 13. 3 will come in 23 factorial. 13 will come in 23 factorial. Reminder 1, 23 factorial divided by 23 into 13. 23 factorial contains 23, contains 13. Reminder 0. So answer for this question is 0. Very beautiful problems that we discuss it today. Let us go one by one. All the problems that we discussed. All the problems whatever we discussed. We will again do a recap. Wilson's theorem. Today we are going to discuss all the remainder based problems based on factorial. So if the numerator is in the form of a factorial and the denominator is a composite number, I can use Wilson's theorem. Wilson's theorem is P minus 1 factorial plus 1 when divided by P is 0. Question based on this one. Shortcut is P minus 1 factorial when divided by P is P minus 1. Example, p minus 2 factorial when divided by p is 1. Example, p minus 3 factorial divided by p is p minus 1 by 2. One example, what if it is not p minus 3 factorial? How to solve it by using this factorization method? What if it is more than 3 deviations, 4 deviations? What if denominator is a factor of numerator? What if denominator is a product of two prime numbers, 19 and 23? Right? What if the number is of the form P minus 1 by 2 factorial whole square divided by P? 71 minus 1 is 70 by 2, which is 35 factorial. Another three questions. Summation n into n factorial is n plus 1 factorial minus 1. Questions based on that one. Questions based on this one. I hope the entire concept is clear, right? Reminder 1, P minus 1 factorial by P, P minus 2 factorial by P, P minus 3 factorial by P. Summation, N into N factorial is N plus 1 factorial minus 1, P minus 1 by 2 factorial whole square divided by p reminder based problems entire variety of questions which we solved it this is how we are going to progress in every class we will take a topic we will do all the problems under a subtopic so that my enrolled students will not get any doubt in any of this topic in case if you really enjoyed this content if you really enjoyed this content and in case if you enjoyed the content and you want to be a part of our paid course. Immediately lift your call and WhatsApp this number 8050067891. I'll help you to buy the course at a discounted price so that you can watch this content any number of times that is possible. Pause, play, rewind as many times as possible. One year is the validity. 4000 plus videos you will get it as a part of the video course. All these live classes will also be added as a part of the course with absolutely zero cost. Thanks a lot for watching this video with love Anil Nair.